Okay, great. We are going to build a whole chain application using the scaffolding tool. Uh, instructions for how to do this are on the developer.holochain.org. And the idea is that we're going to do this as quickly as possible to create a simple questionnaire. And when somebody submits the questionnaire, they end up on a results page. So we're getting started right now. What is the name of our app application? Um, UX questions. Okay, and um, let us use Svelte as our user um, interface framework because that's the one that I'm most familiar with at this current moment that I've been running. You could use Vue, you could use Lit. Um, and what are we gonna do? We're gonna set up the whole Linux dev environment for this project. We wanna do that because that loads in all of the um, necessary components when we come to the directory very easily. So we're gonna say yes, and it downloads them. And it ran and it gave us a bunch of instructions. So we have a web app, dev UX questions has been scaffolded. Um, our next steps as it states here in the instructions are to go into that directory um, to run Nix develop and do NPM install. So we're gonna do that. CD dev UX questions, Nix develop. This should uh, put us into a development shell that loads in all of the uh, dependencies, and we can tell that they're loaded because we can say Holochain minus V, and we can see that we're at Holochain 0.1.3, which I know is the latest one. And the next thing to do is to do npm install to set up the npm dependencies. So let's do what it says. Um, HC scaffold DNA. Aha. So why don't we call our DNA questions just to make it simple. Is that all right? Okay, so we're going to do questions. Okay, that was done. Do when we do this, we're creating both a bit, essentially a back end and a front end with this scaffolding tool. Exactly. Um, <clears throat> so, uh, like I said, there's two parts. It's going to do the both of them together, a integrity and coordinator zone pair. Um, and so we will also just call the zone questions. If you're going to do lots of zones, you might have different names for them. Um, and then the integrity zone will, you'll have a, a integrity zone and a, a coordinator zone for both of them. So questions. And it's asking us what folder we want to put them in. We're just going to follow the defaults by pressing yes. And also the same for the scaffold uh, coordinator, for the, the coordinator zone. I've got a nice fast system here. There we go. Right. So it's a submission is what we want to do for an entry type. Yeah. So scaffold entry type. Okay. So we're going to call it a submission. Okay. So which fields should the entries contain? We're going to now go through adding a bunch of fields into this entry type. Um, well, the first I, question is multiple choice, and we want to make sure that they only choose from the choices. Okay, great. So for that, we want any num. Perfect. Okay, so let's do the name of this enum. Okay, now this name refers to the Rust type that is going to be created for this enum. So we're um, um, so we're going to call it an uh, an OS, I believe. Yeah, but we have to do it in a special casing, don't we? Not not yet. I think. Oh yeah, it is in. in it's got to be in Pascal case. Okay, so OS is the name of the Rust type that will be created for that. Um, enum, and now we've got a bunch of variants. So first I think the first one will be Linux. Great. The second one is Windows WSL. Windows WS. Let me ask you a question. Yeah. 
Then after they hit submit, we're going to yeah. want them to display. We, we're going to want to display the results of everybody's results in some simplified form on the screen. Yeah. Right. How many people answered? How many people said this? How many people said that? We're basically going to make it like a little dashboard. Yeah. So is there anything we'd need to ask to make that dashboard display work better? Oh, that's a great question. Um, I don't think so. It's actually just a matter of pulling together the data and displaying it. So, Okay. Okay, great. Okay, now um, one of the things that the scaffolding allows us to do is add in CRUD functions like updating and deleting, but we're not going to allow that, right? We're going to turn this off. Correct. This is create this... only, no update, no delete. Yeah. Okay. All right, it's been done. We have now had that um, scaffolded. Let us now go to um, creating a collection. A collection is what um, links together a bunch of information. Um, I'm assuming that what we, uh, right, because exactly the thing you just said is we want to be able to pull back all of the entries that were um, created. So let's create a collection. And I know that this is gonna do exactly what we want. Basically what the collection that we're trying to do is all submissions. submissions. Okay, and it is global. It's gonna get all of the entries of the selected entry types. So submission is the only entry type we've created. So it'll do that. Boom. I'm going to import um, create submission and that thank you uh, VS code for automatically importing that <laughs> stuff in for me. Um, and so let's get rid of all of this stuff with and put in a create submission. And let's also this is this is not the the um, dashboard that you were talking about. No, this is I, the actual I, form for. The questionnaire, isn't it? Well, it's both, right? I'm putting both the things in there all at once. So let's just try to run our code now and see what happens. By um, by the when you do and um, uh, runs uh, npm start. The playground is kind of like a browser of your source chain, so you can see what's going on inside and the DHT. But indeed, it opened up a uh, a <clears throat> window for me with an app. So look at this. I can actually go and pick things. Uh, <laughs> doesn't look that pr it pretty yet, but right. Here, but at this point, did you find every thing? This that... is basically your messy first UI that if yep. you know how to do front end development, you can just go modify. Look at this. Okay, I'm gonna do it. You see right down here, this no submissions found comes from the all submissions um, widget. Right. And so we can do create submission, boom. So there you have it. The point is, is we just created an app that works. Uh, and it's running. And in fact, what's interesting about that is this is, it spins up two windows for you, agent zero and agent one. So here is agent zero. I'm going to reload and you see that it already in the other agent, it's pulled back the answer from that other agent, from agent one. So the, 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 the distributed multi-user app is up and running. Mm -hmm.